Now we have seen that the Gopal response is the sum of P i response and this derivative response. So the controller would be P i plus P. Now we will see how the controller uh, acts and produces this this type of response. So this is how this uh, this is how the such map would be built in the controller. This is the reduced polytropic head and this is the reduced flow. And this is your search limit line. This is the red uh, region uh, below this line and ahead of this line. The upper side is blue region, is our desired region. Now we define a parameter in the controller which is the search parameter. Which is the ratio of q r square s l l over q r square operating. The ratio of this point against a certain argument and to the operating point. You see that this is a ratio. So if your point, if, if the point is here, then this ratio will be less than one. And if the operating point is at the search limit line, the uh, deviation, the, this uh, search parameter will be equal to one. And and below, on the left side of this line, the search parameter would be greater than one. So this is how the controller uh, checks whether the operating point is on the safe side. Another parameter uh, which is defined is deviation, which is equal to one minus SS minus search margin. A search search margin which can be five to ten percent. The main purpose of the algorithm is to determine the deviation parameter and to keep it correct. Now, deviation we define it such that the deviation is equal to zero on our desired line, and deviation is positive on the green zone or the safer zone, and deviation is negative on the left side. So we have to uh, keep the deviation parameter. The algorithm keeps the deviation parameter positive. By opening the recycling valve. So this is uh, another demonstration of the control algorithm. So the search control line will generate the PI response, and the cycle trip line will generate the quick open response, and the total response would be PI control plus the cycle trip action. One may uh, question that. Why not a PID controller is used? So the answer to this question is in a PID controller, the derivative action would be concerned both for opening and closing of the valve. Since this is a flow application, uh, more more uh, more of a flow application, more than the pressure, it's a flow application. For flow application, we normally not use the derivative action because it causes pumping in the control valve in the control loop. Or this thing. So, if we use a PID controller, this will cause the derivative action to act in uh, uh, act in the closing of the valve as well. In this algorithm, the derivative action is only used to open the valve suddenly. So, this is the main reason, and uh, this is the main difference between PID uh, controller, PID control action, and PI plus derivative action.